Hey chess enthusiasts, how's it going? Today I've got an exciting game to share with you. It's a brilliant matchup between Stockfish and the latest version of Alpha Zero, Alpha Zero 0 0.20. In this game, I made a bold move by sacrificing my rook to launch an attack on Alpha Zero's kingside. It's truly an unbelievable game. Let's dive in. I started with Rati opening. Black could go with d6. Let me show you the variation. This is a pirate invitation from black and after couple of moves later we will play bishop c4, best move for black is to play castle peacefully but if your opponent dares to play knight d7, he will fall in our octopus trap, take take knight g4, looks like the pawn is hanging but can play an insane move which black is overlooked, bishop takes check, takes knight g5 check, king should not run in his home because his queen will be trapped. So if you dare to play king g8 then your good luck will leave your house. The person you are and the person you want to be are only separated by discipline, so back to the position, Alpha copied my move because I am his idle man, and he decided to play queen's Indian defense, maybe he want to go with d4 setup, c5 is underrated, d4 e6 a3 g6, you want to play double bongo house bishop fumetto, that's a very rare choice like eating pizza without adding bread into it, black here could play d5 but alpha with his jack sparrow style, captured the knight. So I get the opportunity to play h4, with the absence of his light squared bishop, strategic challenges on the king side can be introduced, particularly focusing on exploiting weaknesses on the light squares along with these bishops. You will never be free until you free yourself from the prison of your own false thoughts. The move c5 could have been played to disrupt the center and open up potential attacking opportunities, however alpha opted for c6, aiming to solidify and stabilize the center. The dark square bishop is passive than the white's bishop, h5 is the threat to open up the file, so black played knight c6, g4 and playing knight d7 isn't recommended. Knight takes d5 can be played by white because the knight on c6 is unguarded, black, rather than addressing kingside damage, played a6, g5, take, takes, knight d7 can't possible because the same tactic will come again, so if you play knight h7, let me show you the variation, white can play bishop e3, rook c8 then he can sacrifice his piece on g6, the queen will arrive on party without an invitation to eat the hot dog. Knight f6 is the best but if your 2 megabytes ram brain think of playing knight takes g5. The position can worsen, considering the potential arrival of a bishop, queen e8 queen h7, king up to h7 then bring your rook on h6 because the stupid mouse is pinned, queen g6 is coming so something like, rook g8 knight takes pawn, sacrificing the knight to checkmate black by drinking an IQ juice. It's exhausting to love someone who doesn't return your affections, let your heart rest. So alpha zero here played knight h5, let me add an attack with bishop d3, b5 and can you guess my move. 1 2 3 rook takes knight, sacrificing the rook, to give him a taste of check on h7, king runs rook arrives to dominate over the file, I have a good chance to launch a counterattack and avenge my loss from a couple of days ago. Alpha zero developed his queen on c7, because he want to capture my d4 pawn, so rook takes h5, rook goes to f8 and do you know a fact, people who measure more intelligent also measure more zinc and copper in their hair, I am a super intelligent guy because I have strong and shiny hair in my head, if you can't see my hair then go to a eye doctor. Knight e2 to go f4, supporting that square to move the pawn, my knight is poised to establish dominance in that position, so b4 a4 b3, attacking to the queen, Choosing not to capture the pawn is a strategic move, as it avoids fully opening the b and c files, to establish dominance over my king's position, critical moves involve placing the knight on before and positioning the queen on a5, so queen c1 to play queen h1. Rook a7 queen here to play knight before, queen is coming there to create some troubles, and do you know an another fact, I am pretty sure that you don't, because I haven't informed you the fact yet. Google once hired a camel to capture street views in the desert, that's hilarious, f5, and if you play any normal kind of move, let me show you the variation, f6 will come, if bishop runs away to save his life then your will face Nimea in his lungs, because he smoked a lot while hiding in a toilet, so in this position, if black plays f6, capture the pawn, because after takes bishop e4 check, king slides takes rook on e7 bishop takes knight and that's it, 
Black is utterly lost and chess friends. If you are enjoying my content then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, you are as good for me as water for fish, back to the position, black captured the f pawn, takes king slides rook check, sacrificing the rook, that's a second rook sacrifice, queen check king slides takes ups queen check, king backs check, if you dare to play king g8, let me show you the variation, bishop h7 check, king hides bishop exposed by thermonail camera, king g8 queen g7 check, king here g6. The pawn and the bishop is coming to destroy white, and it will be a checkmate in few moves. You don't have to control your thoughts, you just have to stop letting them control you, so back to the position, we have king e7, g6 and the bishop is coming on g4 to disrupt the diagonal, but alpha 0 is a brave knight, he will fight till his last breath, queen c4, to counter attack me with a check, let me kill his king by killing all his pieces, black's position is completely dead lost, because the king is highly exposed by the bishop pair, now enjoy the video with my beautiful piano music. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.